In this tutorial you will learn how to create advanced break shader. By the end of this video you will be able to create this or any kind of bricks you want. Now let's dive in. Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. First I gave this shader a name. Any shader must have a unique name. I start with diffuse map As you see, choosing a very high quality texture is a must for those who want to work as a professional This map is called the displace It helps highlighting the edges of your project. Well, let's assign it to the diffuse map. I drag this map on the reflection map section to assign it to. As far as such a material have no glossiness on their surface, I reduce the glossiness amount down to 0.6. Let's assign the reflection map to the glossiness too, because their maps can be the same. But it's better to make a map especially for the glossiness which will be made for the next break later in this video. Drag the displace map on displace section and the result will be exploded. This may happen when displace amount is high. You have to bring it down around 5 or 6 to get the best result. And copy the reflection map as in stance mode on bumps to make the shader looks real. The next step is to assign this shader to our model and adjust the scale using UVW map modifier. Now let's press the render to see the final result. Please note that assigning bumps and displays will help you a lot in making a shader look like a real material you see in an environment. As you see, the final render of this shader looks amazing, so real, as we see in our real world. And that's cause of assigning the high quality textures and setting the correct amount to different parameters. Let's dive in the next break with some more tips to talk about. I'm gonna share it all with you guys. You will watch it after a very short break.
Well, as the previous shader, first I assign the diffuse map, but as far as I want to blend the maps together, I take it to composite map first. I feel this texture is a little bright for being a brick, so I take it to color correction map to adjust it. Let's reduce the gamma to make it a little darker. And I shift the hue and saturation amount to make it more red, that's optional. Let's assign the code texture and reduce the blur amount to make it sharper. Let's reduce the opacity. I don't want to make it as clear as the main texture. And change the mode to multiply so the dark value of this texture will be added to the main texture. I assigned this texture to the reflection map which I made it before recording this tutorial. If you need to learn how to make maps in Photoshop, just click on the card I put up in here or link in the description tab. I reduce the reflection and glossiness map amount to make a balance between the texture and their parameters. Now I add a bump map and reduce the amounts down to 12. And displace map. Set it on 5. I think it gives a very good result.
Let's render and see the result. Well, I think I could make a very high quality break shader. The trick of the second one was in Fresnel that I unchecked it to reveal the Fresnel amount and control it in Maps tab. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. The next tutorial is about how to create dirty metal material, a very advanced shader for your project. If it's the first time you join me, please subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to be notified about the next videos. See you soon. Have fun.